This past weekend, many Americans were treated to watch Nick Willenda do another one of his death-defying feats. He crossed a gorge near the Grand Canyon that was approximately 1,500 feet long, and he did so on a two-inch rope. That's pretty impressive. I didn't see it live, unfortunately. I didn't learn about it until Facebook lit up, and so I went back and I watched the videos on YouTube. What struck me as I watched these videos wasn't necessarily the death-defying feat, which itself was impressive, don't get me wrong, but was the fact that as he was carrying out this feat, Nick was in constant prayer. Now, I know a lot of people might dismiss that saying, you know, heck, if I were suspended on a two-inch rope above a giant gorge, I too would be in prayer. But we would be doing so in panic. Nick does this for a living. He's trained to do this. And I don't mean to diminish the feat he accomplished by any means. But rather, I think it's important to notice the way in which he prayed. He was offering praises to God as he was going about what for him would be his everyday job. So it wasn't like he was up there panicking the way that I would if I were on this kind of a rope. This is his everyday job. You know, he's a trained daredevil, so to speak, or as trained as a daredevil can be, I guess. And Nick is up there praising God thanking Christ, thanking Christ as he steps each step, asking Christ to take care of the wind, offering all sorts of different prayers and supplications. Some of them are praise, some of them are asking for things. But the important thing that I saw in this was he brought his faith to his work. You see, that's what we are called to do as Christians, is to bring our faith into our everyday work. So often, we tend to think that our faith is something that needs to be compartmentalized, that it belongs in church but it doesn't belong anywhere else, especially in the public sphere where the public can see it. But see, Nick didn't fall for that uh, false ploy, so to speak. Nick brought his faith right into the public, on camera, in front of millions of people, and certainly even more on YouTube and things like that. I thought it was a powerful witness as to what we as Christians are supposed to do. What's interesting is a lot of times Christians seem to think that the onus for converting the world falls upon the priests or the clergy. But see, actually, if you're a Catholic, at least, our faith teaches us that it's the job of the laity to convert the world. The role of the priest is to provide the Eucharist and the sacraments to strengthen the laity so that they can go about their mission of converting the world, which means that they have to bring Christ into the everyday world. See, the reason it's the lady's job is because they're the ones with the greatest access to the most people in terms of the everyday world, so to speak. As a priest, I get many people coming to the parish, but they're all already people who are Christians, who have heard the gospel, and they're coming to be strengthened and nourished in some way. As lay people, many lay people encounter people of many different faiths in their work environment, and some of with even no faith in their work environment. And it's their job to proclaim the gospel of Christ to their co-workers and to everyone that they encounter. And so what I thought Nick did was provide a great way of showing that by offering his praise of Christ as he's going about for him his everyday job of being a daredevil. And it should inspire all of us to say, wow, maybe I can do that in my everyday life. Maybe I can find a way to proclaim Christ as I'm sitting here working in a store or as I'm sitting here working in an office or wherever you may be working to say, oh, I can bring this into my everyday life. It doesn't necessarily even have to be at one's work. It could be in one's school and one's jobs, amongst one's friends if one's retired. You know, There's all different ways in which we can proclaim Christ in our everyday life. What I think Nick did and what I thank him for is reminding us of the importance and the priority of doing that. And I thought it was very touching as I watched him cross that rope while praising Christ the whole time.